Welcome back to the Barn Garage, St. Auto. I'm Victor Sane, and today we have the V-Bor 5 horsepower wet dry vac. Some of the accessories for the wet dry vac come in the box. You get one wet dry vacuum, one five foot, one and a quarter inch hose, two extension wands, and a third one if you count this handy little attachment. A multifunction nozzle, This one does wet vacuuming, and with this attachment on it, it does the dry vacuuming. Some of the attachments come inside of the wet dry vac. Got the wheels, a utility nozzle, and a crevice nozzle. The wheels are very easy to install. push right into the holes. One of my favorite features of this shop vac, it is a washable, reusable filter. You can tell the material here is a waterproof material. It's not a paper that's going to dis disintegrate if you try to use it for wet vacuum, which means you don't have to change the filter every time you want to go from dry vacuum to wet vacuum. When installing the filter, this has two little stops, go down to two little notches, and you just turn clockwise to lock it in place. There's a nice 15 foot power cord, and on this side, if you take this loose, you can put this nozzle on this side, and then blow instead of vacuuming. For vacuuming, the hose goes in this end over here, near the switch. It just pushes right in. There's no twisting or anything. And then you've got an on-off switch. And you choose whichever, however many wand extensions you need, and whichever attachment you need for the type of vacuuming you're going to be doing. If you want to use it like a blower, then you turn to the other end, take this plug out, shove the hose in, no twisting or anything, just shove it right in there. And then you can turn it on like you would with a vacuum and just blow whatever stuff you wanna blow. If you're blowing stuff out like a leaf blower in the shop and cleaning the shop out that way. If the five horsepower suction seems to be too powerful for you, you can just pull this up with your thumb. It reveals some air holes here and relieves some of the suction pressure off the other end. You can do that on the fly while you're using it just by pushing it down or up with your thumb. Okay, let's give it the bolt test, the washer test, and the nut test. be right up on it to get that nut up there and those are pretty heavy and they're pretty hard so let's see if they damage the filter I don't see any not a history mark at all on the filter no damage and you can't even tell that it touched it and there's four of these slots these are all spaces where you can put the accessories and they'll sit right there pretty well. These would be kind of tall sitting here, but they do sit there. One last thing you might want to know, I know I always do when I get a new vacuum, is when you're vacuuming and the air's going in here, and this is plugged off because you're not using the hose to blow things around, the air that's coming out of this will be coming out the back right here at this slit. So if you're like me, I like to point that away from a pile of stuff so it doesn't blow the stuff all over the room. One last thing I wanted to mention about this that I like very much over my other shop vac is that my other shop vac is huge and weighs about twice as much as this. So 
being half the weight and taking up about half the room makes it so much easier to actually use during the day. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Zane Auto. Binge watch Zane Auto.